What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the All at Sea group build. This is episode number three for our A6M2N float plane. Last time, we went ahead and worked on the cockpit. We got everything painted. We made some seat belts. We drilled out our seat. So we're ready to move on to the next area here, which is going to be the cockpit floor and the cockpit sidewalls. Now, my references show a lot of really intricate piping that seems to be missing here on the Hasegawa kit. We don't have a lot of molded in detail, so we're going to have to go ahead and create our own using some flexible wiring. We're going to go ahead and try to use a bunch of different combinations of those and give this kind of a neat, detailed, lived-in look. And I'm going to use my references here as my guide. So let's go ahead and get these wires out, grab our super glue, and see what we can do. All right, everybody, hopefully you guys dig this because I'm really liking it. It looks really cool. It adds so much life and detail to it, so I'm really impressed. Now we're going to go ahead and check the sidewalls because I added in these piping here. I don't want the sidewalls to come into conflict with that. So let's go ahead and just dry fit the sidewall, make sure it fits, and it looks like it fits. So, <laughs> all right, must have done something right. That's awesome. So now we're going to have to figure out what to put on the cockpit sidewalls as well. So here on the sidewall, we have another little area that we need to go ahead and add some wiring to. It looks like a radio box or some form of box itself. So we're actually going to be using derailleur cable. Guys, I also like to ride bikes and things, and I have some spare derailleur cables, and one was very frayed. So I just cut off the frayed pieces, and I'm using that for wiring. Now, it's not the most ideal wire to use because it is not very flexible. It's not designed to be flexible, but it will work for what I'm doing here, which is really short, small bends. I can bend it with pliers, I can position it, and the natural kind of curve that it has should actually play well with trying to design a kind of a cool, intricate, artsy look to the wiring. So this actually should work very, very well. Let's grab that super glue and let's just see what we can come up with, right? This is all about having fun, guys. Let's just give it a shot. Not too bad, I have to say. I liked how the sidewall is turning out so far. I like how the cockpit floor has turned out. So we're going to move on to the other sidewall. And for some odd reason, there's a large 
kind of a uh, squarish box that comes out of the front here on the sidewall. And our references show a larger diameter pipe that kind of feeds into that. We're going to go ahead and try to reproduce that here on the model. So we are going to open up this little box here with my pin vise and with our hobby knife, and we'll just see what we come up with. Now, if you want a better idea about what I'm trying to create, let me show you the references here. And this large pipe, I don't know what it is, but it's important to have. So we're going to try to put it in there. But I'm not going to use our silver wire. We're actually going to use copper wire. This is actually a little bit bigger diameter, so it's a better fit. Plus, it's far more flexible as well. We are going to have to go ahead and paint that, but that's okay. We can go ahead and get that done without much of a problem. So we're going to have to do a little bit of alteration to this. I'm going to actually give a little bit of a bend here at the very tip of that wire. Then we're going to feed that down into the hole that I've opened up, position it so it kind of locks itself in there. And I think then we'll just drop some super glue on it and we'll be good to go. Now I'm going to actually glue it from the back side because I don't want to just drip glue all over the place. This is that extra thin super glue and it has a horrible reputation of just flowing everywhere. So I'm going to just use a little bit here on the back side of the sidewall and that should kind of flow up inside of it and it should lock it in place. And I did not glue my finger to the actual sidewall, so we're looking good there. And I think that should solidify up nicely. Perfect. Now, one thing we are going to have to do here is we're going to have to stretch a little bit of sprue. Now, this is a little controversial for me because I'm not sure if the A6M2N would have this, but on almost every single one of the cockpits I see in this book, they all have a lever on the right-hand side that's plugged into the floor of the cockpit. It's got a red knob on top of it, and it looks to be some sort of actuator. I don't know what it's there for. Maybe it's to prime like a hydraulic system or maybe it drops a bomb. I don't know, but it's not present here on my model. Now, I'm not 100% certain that the A6M2N would have had this lever, but I want to make one anyway. So we're going to do it. We're going to make one. Now, to do that, though, we're going to need some stretched sprue, and I'm going to need to open up a little bit of a location point right here on the cockpit floor. We're going to use this front box, and we're just going to open up a little bit of an indentation, and we're going to try to kind of angle it about at a 45-degree angle so that it kind of protrudes up and forward from the cockpit seat. Now we're going to take our stretched sprue, and I've cut off the end of that, so it nicely tapers. And we're just going to put it right into that opening right like that. Give it a little bit of pressure, let that glue kind of tack up a little bit. And let's grab our flush cuts real quick, and we're just going to go ahead and take off the larger stretched portion of the sprue. So right about there should do nicely. There we go. Now we'll let that dry, add a little bit of uh, glue around the side, make sure that's not going anywhere. So now I wanna go ahead and paint up some of the parts in the cockpit itself. We use some black, we use some silver. Let's go ahead and paint up the area and see how it turns out.
So after the silver and the black here on the cockpit sidewalls and the cockpit floor, we're adding a little bit of detail with some red paint with my micro brush. I just want to dot here and there just these tiny little dials. I want to dot a couple of the switches red to add a little bit of character. And again, my references show that there are some red dials here. So I want to go ahead and reproduce those on the sidewalls themselves. Just a real easy, easy dot here. Sidewall, a couple of the instrument panel probably, and then of course on the cockpit floor. And I think really ties it all together. Now a little detail shot here, you can see we have the cockpit sidewall here. I love it. I think it looks awesome. This is the left side. And then here is the right side. As you can see, got the larger pipe, which we painted silver. We've got some extra pipes I added in there that stretch all the way from the front to the back of the cockpit sidewall. And of course, the bottom floor here, we've got that lever plugged into place. We painted it black, looking pretty decent. So on the left side of the cockpit floor, we're missing some wiring here. Now, I don't know how much would actually be in the real aircraft, but we do know it's missing a box. So I went looking through my stash and I found this. This is actually a sprue that I have left over from the 50th anniversary of the Harrier Buddy Build. So we're going to take that. We're going to file it down. I know it's clear, but that's okay. We're going to end up painting it black and we're going to glue it down to the front of the cockpit floor. So we have it all nicely filed down and let's just go ahead and see. We're going to put it right about here. I think that's going to be a nice area and then we can just feed some pipes off of that a couple coming out the front maybe maybe wrapped around the back so let's go ahead and drop a little bit of glue on the back side of that and then we'll just place it right down here on the front of the floor all right nice give it a little bit of pressure and make sure it's made contact with the entire area there we go a little bit of pressure not too much all right now we can go ahead and paint that up and then we'll throw some wires on it so I'm going to use some flat black like I did with the other consoles strewn about the cockpit. And I'm not going to go too crazy because you're not really going to be able to see a lot of it from different angles. But definitely from the top down, I want that to look just perfectly black. And we're going to get a little bit touch up here and there. Now the box, of course, is a different shape and size, but I think it's all good. It's all about the impression of having something there. So let's go ahead and throw some wires on there. And fingers crossed, this brings it all together. All right, everybody, so we are going to call it quits for today. We've got the cockpit floor and the sidewalls more or less where we want them. We've done a little bit of weathering powder, a little bit of dry brushing. I'm just finishing off the seat right now with a tad bit of weathering powder. I want to make sure everything looks used, but not too used. And we are going to go ahead and call it quits for today. I hope everyone has had a beautiful holiday season so far. We're not quite out of the woods yet, though. We have one more holiday coming up. That's going to be New Year's Day, beginning of 2019. So as always, stay safe. Go out, get yourself some bench time, build something cool, and we will see you back here in 2019, everybody. We'll see you soon.